Paper Mario The Origami King, the latest installment of Paper Mario, a game franchise with more controversy than most emulated games. You play as Paper Mario, the only character that is obese and underweight at the same time. You and Luigi drive on up to the Mushroom Kingdom, but when you arrive, there were no toes, which is contradictory to the recent Paper Mario games. You enter the castle where Princess Peach walks out and reveals that she has been folded. Ooh. She asks you a series of questions that we really don't care about before dropping you into the dungeon that the castle now has somehow. I was just goons over there when you meet a Goomba who wants to uh, lick Mario's boots. Ugh. Then Mario starts hearing the voice in his head saying they're trapped in between dimensions wishing to be released. Oh, never mind, it's just Olivia. So Mario stands at the sacrificial ritual and gains the more or less like a uh, hundred and twenty fold arms. He proceeds to massage the wall and free Olivia. He then grabbed a new origami hammer. But really, Mario's hammer was always origami to begin with. You go and save folded Bowser, leave the dungeon, and meet it with folded Peach, cheating on Mario for a yellow shy guy. <sighs> well, yes, yeah, still got Pauline, so chew up, big guy. Anyway, that bootlicking Goomba from before is now folded, and you get into your first battle. The combat of Paper Mario is like this. The enemies multiplied and was spread across a circle board thing. Mario moves the wings on the board to line up the enemies to be stomped or whacked. While you do this, the enemies will politely stand completely still waiting for you. If you suck at lining things up, you can bribe the god of time with money to give you more, well, time. After you beat up the Goombas, the yellow shy guy reveals that he's Ollie, Olivia's evil brother. Then proceeds to wrap the castle with ribbons. Fortunately, Mario's Ubu Eats comes and saves them. And you got a uh, two Chalumpas from Mr. Morty. <laughs> What's going on here? Thank you for saving us. Don't mention it. All in a day's work, that'll be 30 bucks. But then you and Olivia get separated from Bowser and the Ubu Eats shy guy. And Luigi dies. Moving on from the story, the world of Pip Mario is filled with confetti, like a lot of confetti, like like way too much confetti. Confetti is literally part of nature. Mario just consumes all of the confetti, just sucks it into his mustache like Kobe. Confetti can be used to uh, replace the fabric of the universe. Anyway, while you're in the overworld, you have the sudden urge to whack everything with your hammer. Flowers, trees, ground, enemies, paper mache, toads, your friends, the subscribe button. Everything will be whacked to a pulp by your hammer. Speaking of friends, Paper Mario has a wide variety of original characters. Like trees, the bomb without a fuse, which... So, it can't really do what a bomb actually is meant to do. Toad! And other basic Mario characters, but slightly different. The bosses are all original too. We got a Big O' Koopa, Colored Pencils, Moltres, Rubble Bands, Flex Tape, and many others. The boss fights are just a maze where you hit people. You realize there are 120 fold arms in these fights too. And this better be grabbing Super Smash Brothers. I want to see the look on Min Min's face. After the bosses, you detach the women from the castle. Your goal is to break all the ribbons and free the castle. Hey guys, my game is back. I just want to give you some of my thoughts about the Origami King. Overall, Paper Mario the Origami King is a step in the right direction, but not a big enough step in my opinion. It's better than Color Splash and Sticker Star, but has some of the same problems as modern Pokemon. But I still think Paper Mario the Origami King is an enjoyable experience. WHERE IS MY MONEY?!